Alrighty. We'll give this one more minute so you guys can let me know what you did on the weekend. Yeah. And then we will kickstart our session. Where's the hey. sun gone? How's this weather? I actually don't know how to do it on Facebook Live. That's know, cool. Helen, you, you can let us know. <laughs> What'd you do on the weekend, Scout? <laughs> It was really great. I got to see lots of different friends. So yeah, how good is it, huh? Oh my god! So yeah. Oh, Pooja, nice. Pooja yeah. went to meet her friend's new baby. That's pretty special, Pooja. Yay! Normal stuff, huh? Normal stuff that we used to take for yeah. granted. <laughs> I, I left my five kilometers for the first time. It was amazing. Yay! <laughs> Freedom! Finally. <laughs> Finally, that's right. Okay. I am. Oh, where are we? We're going to kick things off in a sec, you guys. I think everyone's good to go. Anyone on Facebook Live that's joining us, let us know you're there. Because I can't see you. Shoot us a quick message. All right, I think this is us, team. We're going to get a uh, move on. Welcome to your Monday session. Nothing like a bit of heat to warm us up in this rainy weather, huh? You guys will be sweating in no time. So just a quick run through our health check as we start each of our classes making sure that we are working within our limits, still challenging ourselves, but making sure that we are moving safely. So if there's anything you feel you need to get checked out by your GP or your health provider, please make sure you do so. Also a quick run through our HIT rules to help you guys get the most out of these sessions. So you'll notice three different levels for every single exercise. The videos with the one cross is your basic move, two crosses is a little more challenging, and your three crosses is your most uh, dynamic or your most uh, advanced option for that particular exercise. We challenge ourselves through our intensity. So range of movement is really, really big. Make that your key focus for these sessions. Keep moving through every interval round. Quality reps over quantity. So we slow down if we need to and focus on how we're moving. We always have fun and we always support each other. Yeah, All right. Keep my intensity interval training. Are we ready for our warm-up? I think so. Let's go. Let's get this on. Pull up a spot. I'm going to move my camera down. Lots to warm up today. So let's start with our upper body. We'll start with some rotations. Just loosening off. If you've been sitting at your desk this morning, it's a nice chance to just stretch things through. Take one arm up into the side. Big extension through that shoulder. Feels good to move. I've been sitting in my car a lot this weekend. So this feels really good. All right, into those arm circles. Moving through those shoulders. Swing them forward. and into our elbows. So just some movement through those little joints to get us prepped for the work ahead. Round the other way. Let's move these into rotators through the upper body only. So palms together, sweeping through the sides. Let your head follow that back hand and you are rotating from the waist up. So just the torso. One more each way. Moving into hip circles. Big circles round. We want to open our hips on the way forward. Stretch our hamstrings through on the way back. Round the other way. All right, single hip circles here. So just slow and easy. 
as big or as uh, small as you choose. Just getting some range through these hips. Round the other way, outside to centre. Can I ask you guys to mute yourselves on your end? If you haven't muted yourself, please. Awesome, thank you. Knees and ankles, big circle round. Go around the other way. And let's do some single knee circles today too. So I want you to open up through those knees, individually circle round. Take it back around the other way. Good stuff. All right, bit of hamstring work. So we're gonna bring one foot forward, circle the arms round, bend and sweep through, and then change sides. So as you're doing this, you are pushing your hips back behind you and feeling that length in the back of your leg. Keep that core switched on. One more time. Good stuff, into some squats. Just checking in on how we are moving. Push those knees out, drive through your heels, lift your chest. We're gonna add on to this one squat and then two lunges, stepping forward and back. Squat through, lunge it forward and back. So one of our combinations for today, nice way to warm them up. Back knee down in that lunge, hips down in your squats. Let's do one more. Squat through, lunge back. All right, little jog. Just flush out those legs. We're also gonna warm up for our skaters today. So showing you guys side on, take one foot behind, just balancing on that toe. I'm out in front for balance. We're gonna squat on one leg. So your back foot is there for a bit of balance and some support and you are dropping your, he your hip towards your heel. Change sides, step back, drop through that hip, drive up through your front heel. So this is the range I want you to try and hit in your skaters today. One more time. All right, pick up those feet again, just flush out those legs. We're gonna move into our plank walk. So feet out nice and wide. Travelling forward into your plank, piking back up, stretching those hammies. Keep these moving. As you work through these, I want you to think about squeezing your core, squeezing your glutes. One more time. Holding here, body weight forward. Let's just hold this plank position. I want you to push up through those shoulder blades, pull up through your belly button and breathe. All right, stepping one foot forward into a lunge. We're gonna rock forward and back. So stretching out that hip. As you push back, try push your heel to the wall behind you. So getting into our calf, a bit more work through our ankles. All right, other side. Step through, find your stretch. Sitting it back, rocking through. Push that heel back behind you. All right, we are on our feet. Back into a jog. Pick up your pace a little bit now. Heels are lifted. Upright through that upper body. Get the arms moving. Let's go pendulum swing side to side. Just staying nice and light on your feet into some low sprints. Lift that chest, get the arms going. And you guys finish off with some skipping. So just a little bit of skipping to finish off this warm up. And we will be good to go. All right, wonderful. Come on in. Let's have a chat about our session today. So we have three sets, sorry, two sets of uh, blocks, big blocks of work, three exercises in each block. 
but we are repeating each exercise three times before we move on to the next. And our intervals are going to get longer each time we do this exercise. So we're starting short and then we're challenging that by making those intervals a little bit longer each time. So just a quick demo and a run through of what these exercises are. First one is our drop squat lunge combo. We did this in our warm up. So it's one squat, two lunges. You can keep this low impact if you need to, or you can add in your dynamic work where we drop squat and then ply a lunge. There's your low option there, air squat, two step lunges. Then we're moving on to our wiper push-ups. So this is where our feet stay anchored and the upper body moves from side to side. Think of a window wiper on your car. Try to do your push-ups if you can, even if it means doing them off your knees. We still wanna build that strength in these push-ups. If you're really struggling with these today, just focusing on that weight shift, side to side with those hands. Third exercise are our skaters. We did this in our warm up again. Notice that end position, we drop, try to get that heel touching your butt each time if you have that range. You can take the jump out if you need to, step it over, or you can go back to what we did in our warm up with our single leg assisted squats. So each exercise three times through. At the end of that round, we're doing all three in a row for 30 seconds. That is our mini finisher. All right, guys, starting off with our drop squat lunge combo. Timer is up on your screen. We're kicking off in less than five seconds. Choose your options, ready to move. Time starts now. Let's go, one big squat, two lunges. Focusing on dropping that back knee to the floor, keeping your chest lifted in those lunges. With those squats, we wanna see full range. Keep moving here, three, two, one, have a breather. Shake out those legs. We're staying with the same exercise. Have a rest, keep breathing. All right, second round, time starts now. Let's go, one big squat, two lunges through. We are accumulating some fatigue here. You're gonna feel the burn in these legs by the time we hit our third round. Just keep moving through, find your breath. Keep focusing on that breath. Think about how you're moving. Three, two, one, and rest. Nice one, shake out those legs. All right, here comes your 30 second interval. A Little bit longer this time. Three, two, one, let's go guys. This is what it's all about. We are chasing that burn today. Straight out of the gates with this one. Remember, you can take the impact out. So take the jump out if you need to, but keep your range as big as you can. So slower is okay as long as you are moving with that full range. Beautiful work, so far so good. Last little bit here, three, two, one, and rest. All right, shake out those legs. Have a little breather. Make your way down onto the floor, moving into our wiper push-ups. So come on down, everyone show me that hollow plank position. Let's go, first round, walking across to one side, feet stay where they are, your body weight transfers across. One push up on either end, either off your toes or off your knees. Good start. Find your rhythm with this one. Three, two, one, and rest. All right, quick shake out of those wrists. Just release the shoulders. Have a breather. Stay where you are. We're heading into round two. Time starts now. Second round of push-ups. Let's go. Walk it across. Try to get your chest as close to the ground as you can. I want you to challenge your range in every single exercise today. This is where we get to slow down and think about how we're moving. Beautiful work, everybody. Look at you guys go. Three, two, one, and rest. All right, shake out those shoulders. We are staying down here for one more round. Three, two, one. Here's your 30 second challenger. Let's go. Walk it across, add the push up. Now think about your body tension now. With your plank walks, can you keep that body in that plank position? 
So we want ears, shoulders and hips in one straight line. That means butt is down, body weight is forward and we are squeezing our core, squeezing our glutes. Every little bit helps keep that body weight supported. Almost there everybody. Three, two, one and rest. Amazing. All right, on your feet, shake out those arms, getting ready for our skaters. So you can jump them across, you can step them across, or you can keep them on the spot. Three, two, one, let's move. I'm looking for that end position. So no shortcuts, no shortcuts. We're not doing speed skaters. We are loading up that landing leg and dropping our hips as deep as we can. So control those landings. Three, two, one, and rest. Good stuff. All right, little breather, shake out those legs. Ready for round two. Kicking off in three, two, one, let's move. Step and drop. Now, I want you to keep that chest upright and feel the body weight dropping. So drop and drive on each side. There it is, great work. Everyone's moving really well. You've picked really good choices. Make sure you're challenging yourself. Nice one. Three, two, one, and rest. Shake out those legs, take a big breath. Third time, 30 second interval. Let's go for that burn. Three, two, one, let's go crew. Come on, come on, 30 seconds of skaters. Slow these down as much as you need to. Focus on those landings. Drop that back knee towards the ground. Try to get your butt touching your heel. That's it, slow down as much as you need to so you can focus on that range. Excellent work, 10 seconds on that timer. Come on, come on. Keep breathing, legs and lungs are burning, I know, you just gotta hold on now. And rest. All right guys, have a quick breather. We are going back to the beginning. Every exercise, 30 seconds each, no recoveries. Here's your finish around. Starting with drop squat lunges, three, two, one, let's go. Come on, big 30 second intervals now. This is where everything counts the most. Your finish rounds are your challenges. This is where we shred. This is where we get fitter. This is where we get stronger. Don't give it up, come on, every repetition counts. Keep moving, keep breathing. Nice one. All right, ready to change. Three, two, one, hit the deck. Window wiper push-ups. Come on down, hit those push-ups. Bit of active recovery for you. It's a chance to rest your legs. Take some big, big breaths. During this exercise, focus on your body tension. Keep the core engaged. Beautiful job. So far, so good. You guys are smashing through these. Three, two, one, on your feet. 30 seconds of skaters. Let's go crew, come on, all or nothing right now. You've got a break coming up after this little block. Let's challenge it. Come on, drive it up, drive it up. Step it across, drop it down nice and low. Flying through, come on, 10 seconds. Embrace this burn in your legs. You are getting stronger right now. Come on, come on, three, two, one, and rest. Excellent. All right, team, walk it out, grab a drink. There is your first block of work done. Have a breather. Quick recovery time while we talk you through your second round of work. All right, so here are your exercises. Quick run through. We have got some power jacks. So it's a low squat with a heel click at the top. If you can't do that heel click, that's okay. Drop it back to air squats, or you've got your uh, straightforward squat jumps. So legs stay straight as we power through from the bottom to the top. All right, from there we move into some sit-ups. You've got your V-sits, long levers is your most challenging option. You've got your V-tucks, or you have your butterfly sit-ups. You guys know your choices for these. So choose a scaling that will challenge you and something you can keep working through for the whole interval. Then we're finishing with burpee jump-overs. 
So one burpee, one side jump. If you need a bit of a visual tool, jump over your mat or jump over your drink bottle. Something for a bit of height, a bit of distance. You can step them over if you don't want to jump. All right, same deal as before. Starting with our power jacks. We have got three sets of work before we move on to the next exercise. All right, guys, moving into our power jacks in three, two, one, let's go. Drop and drive, drop and drive. Get into your low squat first. Little heel click at the top. Amazing. Everyone's moving really well. Let's keep these legs on fire. Push through, push through. Three, two, one, and rest. Use your recovery now. Shake out those legs. Take some nice, big, big breaths. Ready to kick off again in three, two, one. Power jacks. Let's go. Round two. The challenge is on. Hope you guys had your wee picks this morning. <laughs> Come on, get these muscles on fire. Push through, push through. It's all about the leg burn today. Legs and lungs. Keep moving, hold on to these last few reps. Three, two, one, and rest. Excellent. All right, we have our 30 second interval coming up. Focus on how many good reps you can do before you need to take a break. All right, guys, time starts now. Do what you can, focus on good reps. Then take a break if you need to. Beautiful, you've got your air squats. If you're air squatting, I wanna see you moving through that whole 30 seconds. If you're adding your plyo jumps, have a breather if you need to. Otherwise, just keep that rhythm moving, find your flow, trust in your legs, because you have got this. Five seconds, come on, come on. Three, two, one, and rest. Amazing. All right, have a breather. Coming down for your sit-ups. Let's go, hit the deck. Choose these scalings. Three, two, one, let's move. 20 seconds for our first round. If you're working butterfly sit-ups, I want to see you touching the floor in front and the floor behind you. If you're working V-tucks, tuck those knees in as tight as you can. V sits, long arms, long legs. Three, two, one, and rest. All right, have a breather here. Suck it up. Keep breathing. Ready to go again. Second round, time starts now. 25 seconds on this timer. So with your sit-up work today, friends, I want to see you moving consistently. So focus on your breathing. Just find that pace that you can sustain for the whole interval. Great work. Scale it down if you need to. It's okay to use those scaling. So it's what they're there for. And rest. All right, 10 second breather. We're coming into our 30 second round. Mindful movement happening right now. Three, two, one. Give me 30 seconds of your best sit ups. Start at your hardest option. Drop it back to a lower scaling if you need to. I want to see you try and keep moving through these. So far, everyone's moving really, really well. Come on, just hold on. Stay focused. Keep breathing. Remember, every repetition counts. Hold on, hold on. Three, two, one, and rest. Excellent. All right, we are back on our feet, ready for our burpees. Bit more heart and lungs. Burpee jumps side to side. Kicking off, guys, in three, two, one. Let's move. You've got your burpee chest to floor. You've got your down ups, or you've got your walkout burpees. So choose an option that's going to challenge you. Keep that heart rate moving. Keep going. Keep going. Come on, all the way. Last five seconds. Keep breathing. Three, two, one, and rest. Quick 10 second breather, suck in that air, shake out those legs, refocus, ready to move in three, two, one, let's go. Come on, second round of work. Hit these burpees. You guys have got this, you are flying through. Amazing effort from everybody. Great stuff team, come on. 
You got this. Less than 10 seconds. Push through, push through. Last little bit coming up. Three, two, one, and rest. All right, big breaths. Gearing up for your 30 second challenge. Come on, suck that air in. Ready to go in three, two, one, let's go. 30 seconds of your best burpees. How many good reps can you nut out? It's okay to have a break if you need to, but only if you really need to. Can you keep fighting through? Scale it down rather than stop. Ah, oh, legends, look at you guys, go. Come on crew, home stretch, home stretch. Last five seconds, three, two, one, and rest. All right, 30 second finishes are coming up from the top, starting with your power jacks. 30 seconds of each exercise, back to back. Three, two, one, let's go. Come on, this is where we burn these calories. This is where we shred. Do the work, stay focused, keep moving. Do what you can and do it well. You can do this, everybody. Come on, 15 seconds down, 15 seconds to go. That sweet halfway mark, hey? Once you get to the halfway mark, you can do anything. Keep moving, keep moving. Three, two, one. Hit your sit-ups, come on down. 30 seconds of solid sit-ups. What do you got? Come on, keep breathing. Mindful movement now. The body keeps moving. Bit of active recovery with our breathing. Excellent work. You got to get this breath back under control, guys. We've got burpees coming up for your final challenge round. All right, three, two, one. On your feet, 30 seconds of burpee jump overs. Let's go, crew. Come on, come on. No one quits now. All the way to the end. You've got this. Uma, you are flying, lady. Go, go, go. Great stuff, everybody. Come on. Halfway mark is gone. We are on the home stretch. 10 seconds. What do you got? Come on. Dig deep. Push through. Fight for these last few reps. Three, two, one. Amazing. Great stuff. Grab a drink. Have a walk out. We're going to hit our finish around. Our finisher today is all core work. So we're going to get a chance to get our heart rate back down and focus on our smaller muscle groups. The stuff that makes us stronger from the inside out. So while you guys recover, I'm going to quickly talk you through each of our exercises for our finisher round. So we have got up down planks. From our plank position, you can either work some box push-ups here to get that tricep strength or your up down planks. So from your knees or your toes, down to your elbows, pressing up to your hands, making sure you're alternating hands each time. So you're not always pushing up off that same hand. From there, we go straight into some pike to plank knee taps or holds. So you can get both hands on the floor or you can reach back reaching for your shins or your toes or your knees, anywhere along that lower body. Any target zone is okay. You can also get both hands on the floor if you need to, focus on that pike to plank position. Then we flip it over for our hollow holds. Long hollow holds are arms and legs long. Short hollow holds are our tucks, so knees above those hips, or our in-between is feet pointing up towards the ceiling. So we're working three rounds of these three exercises, 20 seconds of work, only five second recoveries, but that is enough time for you to transition through to your next exercise. So starting in your plank position with our up down planks. Here we go guys, three, two, one, 20 seconds of work kicks off now. Before you start moving, I want you to check in on that plank position. Scoop the belly in, lean that body weight forward. Keep breathing, keep that body long and strong. All right, we are staying here for five more seconds. Three, two, one, and rest. Pike to plank holds are next. So uh, plank position, 
Let's go. Pipe those hips up. You can tap your foot or you can tap for the ankle or you can keep both hands on the floor. We're really looking to transition that body weight forward and back now. Lean over those fingertips with your shoulders. Three, two, one. Flip it over. Ready for your hollow holds. Let's go. Flip it round and hollow holds now. Let's go. Lift your shoulder blades off the floor as much as you can. Legs extended for your low holds. Feet up a bit higher. Squeeze those knees. Squeeze your glutes. Keep breathing. Keep drawing your belly into your spine. Three, two, one, and rest. From the top, setting up for your up-down planks. Time starts now. Let's go. Round two here, guys. Come on, keep moving, keep moving. Walk down to those elbows. Press back up onto your hands. This is a shoulder burn as well as a core burn. Body tension is where it's at. Keep that body tight. Three, two, one. All right, transitioning into your pike to plank holds. Here we go. Time starts now. Push those hips back. Lengthen your body weight forward. Do not collapse through your hips. So I don't want to see any saggy backs here. Lean forward just enough to feel that squeeze in your butt and keep your body weight supported. Three, two, one. Flip it over. Setting up for your hollow holds. Here we go. Time starts now. Lift your feet. Lift your chest. Do not hold your breath. Press your low back into the floor. Draw your belly into your spine. And most of all, keep breathing. That's it. Narrow your ribs into your hips. Tighten through that waist. Three, two, one, and rest. Flip it over. Last time through. Up, down, planks. Time starts now. Let's go, guys. Come on. Last time through each exercise. Get this done. Keep breathing. Keep breathing. You've got this. We are getting stronger with every repetition. Your core work is really important to help you do all the other fun hit stuff. Three, two, one, and rest. Park to plank. Coming up. Time starts now. Let's go. Smooth transitions. Great stuff, everybody. This is it. Second last exercise, and we are on the home stretch. Keep that body tight. Transition forward as far as you can over those shoulders. Three, two, one. Hollow holds. Flip it over. Time starts now. Let's go. We're going to hold on to this last one all the way to the end of our rest period. So this is a 30-second finisher. All right, suck it in. Press that low back into the mat. Squeeze, breathe, hold on. We're going to stay here. Keep moving. Keep breathing. Five more seconds. Three, two, one. You are done. Amazing. All right, crew. Have a breather. Just quickly catch your breath. Have a lie down where you are. We're going to cool down together. All right. Just have a lie back on the floor. Take your arms back behind your head, lengthen out your legs. Just have a moment here for some quiet breathing. Feel the shoulder blades just melting into the floor. Feel your spine, your tailbone, your glutes and your heels melting into that mat. Bring your arms out to your side. Walk your feet in, knees together. We're just going to alternate here from side to side. Drop your hips and knees across. Brace through the center. Roll to the other side. I want you to keep your shoulder blades anchored down. And just feel this stretch through the rib cage, through the torso. As you transfer from side to side, keep those abs nice and connected. Just support that low back a little bit more. If you want a bit more with these, we can lengthen out our legs and we're just going to do a straight leg. Sweep over, back to center, sweep over, back to center. If the bent knees are enough for you, stick with that first option. Just focus on your breathing, 
Get your heart rate back down slowly. Some nice rotation work through that low back. Releasing our abs. Did some nice work through that core today. Last one. From here, hug your knees up into your chest. Grab onto each knee, and we're just gonna do some knee and hip circles. This will help you loosen off through that low back. Release across the pelvis. I want you to focus on your breathing here, guys. Big, big breaths. Let's go the other way. Rotate out, back into the midline. All right, from here, have a sit up. Bring one foot across, sitting up nice and tall. Opposite hand to your knee. Lift up your chest and then across that shoulder. So hug your knee in as close as you can to your body and you should get a nice stretch coming through those glutes. Keep that breath flowing, getting your heart rate down here slowly. Let's change sides. Switch through, hug up tight, wrap that hand across, lift up tall and rotate. From this position, step up onto your uh, knee. So we're going to lunge forward into a big overhead stretch. On the way back, just sitting back from your hips and lengthening those hammies. So flow this as slow or as quick as you choose. So we're stretching hip and then hamstring. Again, your breath flows with your movement. You should be starting to feel semi-human again. The sweat will start now that you've stopped moving. Let's change sides when you're ready. Step it through. Big lunge forward, reach up tall, sit the hips back. So thank you as always to all of our supporters, everyone that's donated to us through our Patreon platform. We've got some exciting new stuff coming up in the next few weeks, so keep your ears peeled. Stay connected with us and we will share our news soon. All right, gang, from here, just step your feet together. Let your head and shoulders drop, bend your knees. Fold your hands over, little rock from side to side, just decompressing our spine. Big, big breaths. And then in your own time, just start to slowly unwind. Just release through that spine. When you get to the top, take a breath in. Exhale, chin to chest. Curl those shoulders down. Roll back down to the floor. Holding here at the bottom, breathing in. And exhale to wind it back up. Uh, reach behind, open up through that chest. Give yourselves a super, super hand. That was a tough sesh today. How are your legs feeling? Alive? <laughs> I think we found our legs, hey? Amazing work from everybody. Thank you for your awesome energy. Really good work. You guys are getting so fit. Thank I'll, you. You're welcome. I will see you on Wednesday. Wednesday at 12 for some more fun stuff. Cheers, guys. Have a top day. Thank you. Thanks, Thanks, guys. Thanks, Thank you, Matt. Thanks, Thank you, Try.